Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Dorit from Gilad. Dorit, we've spoken many times before, but you've had a very, very successful year. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and why? Sure, absolutely, and thanks for having me here again. I'm very happy to be here. This is uh, indeed an exciting year for Gilad. We've had uh, successes in several of our strategic markets. Uh, first one is uh, broadband, as is delivered via cellular backhaul and in our case it's a satellite cellular backhaul. We have achieved a great success in this market over the last year and I actually would like to uh, quote a report that was uh, recently published by NSR a Research Group that talked about this year as being an infliction point or crossing the chasm for satellite backhauling. And they talk about this uh, being the time where satellite backhauling is going into the mainstream not only for the niche play. And they're, say, they're quoting several large MNOs around the world that have decided to use satellite backhauling. And they're talking about Sprint in the United States, they're talking about SoftBank in Japan, and EE, everything everywhere in the UK. And all of those uh, MNOs that they mention are coincidentally customers of Gilat. So we are very pleased, and of course I'm very proud that the uh, MNOs, the tier one MNOs, are using our product for satellite backhauling. As a matter of fact, they're using here this product, Capricorn. This is a member of our SkyEdge 2C family. And Capricorn, this uh, little device here, is the one that is really enabling the very fast LTE performance. We call it true LTE speeds over satellite. So we're talking here about a modem or a VSAT that can give you a performance or a user experience like terrestrial and at comparable cost, plus have the advantage of very fast deployment. VSATs are of course very fast to deploy, so in a matter of hours you can uh, deploy a site with a VSAT. So that's a significant benefit of the uh, satellite backhauling. Now, if I go back to the report by NSR, they talk really about three things that are happening that are enabling this crossing the chasm. So they talk about the speed or the user experience, they talk about the cost or the efficiency of using the satellite bandwidth, and they talk about the complexity of deployment. So when we talk about speed, with this uh, product here, Capricorn, we have embedded acceleration. That's the acceleration that overcomes the inherent satellite uh, delay. Now we do this in an, with a patented embedded acceleration that we have here in the product. Mm -hmm. Now this is very important that it's embedded because that has two advantages. Also, it's lower cost because it's in the same device, but also you have better performance, a better user experience because you don't have packet loss between devices. So we have a better quality of service together with Capricorn. Now, when we talk about efficiency, it's not sufficient to have the high throughput satellites. That's, of course, a prerequisite to have the lower cost, but you have to be able to utilize the bandwidth effectively. And that is something that we do with the access scheme TDMA, which allows us to share bandwidth and again reduce costs. And the third point in the report that I'd like to point to is the complexity of deployment. And here we're seeing uh, MNOs not needing to deal with the complexity of satellite backhauling because of companies like Gilat that know how to give the end-to-end -end service. So they don't have to worry. We call it a worry-free network or we say leave the pain to us and Gilad can do the end-to-end -end service of deploying the satellite backhauling and the skill set and the MNOs doesn't need to grow to include satellite backhauling. So all of this really is uh, exciting in the world of cellular backhaul as we are leading the market now with the tier one MNOs in the United States, Europe and Japan. So that's, that's about the satellite backhauling. While we're on the topic of uh, cellular backhaul, you also have a small cell solution. Uh, what does that actually do? Sure. As a matter of fact, I just heard yesterday that we won an award in the Small Cell Forum in London, together with Parallel Wireless, for excellent deployment of the small cell in rural areas. Actually, small cells are, are like uh, cells, but they're small, and they're very cost-effective to deploy in rural areas where you have smaller communities. And as a matter of fact, in Australia now, in the uh, outback regions in South Australia, 
they have connectivity now with their mobile phones for the first time with this small cell solution. And ABC uh, shot a, uh, a TV uh, program interviewing the people there that were so excited, the local people that for the first time could actually uh, surf the web, could go into social media, uh, and also uh, they can, you know, of course, look at weather, everything we all do with our mobile phones. But also not only the local people, but also people traveling through can use maps, can use emergency services. In other words, this was a, a TV show about how, wow, finally cellular solutions came to the outbacks of Australia. And this is something that is enabled, again, with our small cell, which is called Cell Edge, uh, that we do together with Parallel Wireless. And it is uh, optimized for satellite backhauling. So using for the backhaul, again, this Capricorn device to give the excellent user experience. So we're very pleased also in this world of the small cell where we have made significant progress now uh, deployed in Australia. The other area is of interest to a lot of service providers is uh, in-flight communications. And, and GILAS, again, are addressing this sector. Absolutely. That is another strategic direction of GILAT, in-flight uh, connectivity. And we are excited about this market. And again, great progress this year. As a matter of fact, on May 9th, just a couple weeks ago, we had a, a very exciting affair with GOGO. GOGO is our customer in the United States. They had an airborne analyst and media event on their test plane, uh, Jimmy Ray, where they invited many customers to experience the fantastic user experience on their commercial flight. Of course, using a variant of this modem, uh, the airborne uh, version of our aero modem, that. Uh, gave a performance that the whole industry was applauding. If you were on Twitter those days, you could see, wow, um, best performance ever seen on commercial on airlines, five times more than uh, the average. So we're very excited about those uh, prospects with GoGo. It's going to be uh, our airborne uh, modem is going to be deployed in over 1,600 aircrafts, so over 13 airlines. And this is, of course, a great achievement of our aero modem. Now, it's not only our aero modem uh, that we're doing, we actually have a full portfolio of components for uh, in-flight connectivity. So it's not only the modem, it's also the uh, transceiver, the box, and also the antennas. And recently now at Satellite uh, 2017 in Washington, D.C., we launched our uh, dual band KAKU antenna, uh, airborne antenna. They can uh, switch between these uh, bands, and as a matter of fact, it's, it does a, this a seamless beam switching between beams of the high throughput satellites and between satellites on long uh, journeys. You have a user experience that doesn't allow the doesn't uh, show the user that there's any uh, switching of beams. It's totally uh, transparent. Now, this antenna of Gilats, though, is unique in the industry because it can work with any other equipment, with any other service. It is not dependent on, the, uh, on, the, on a specific service. So, it, of course, works also with our modem, but it can work also with competing modems. And as a matter of fact, our competitor, Hughes, is using also our antenna. And at Satellite in Washington, uh, we had a, a joint launch where Hughes' uh, modem was you know, talked about using the antenna of Gilad. So we are very pleased with our uh, antenna that is really agnostic to the underlying Visa technology. Now we're sitting in Asia and you've had some successes in Asia recently. Can you tell me a little bit more? Uh, sure. Well, I mentioned the cellular backhaul in success with SoftBank that's in Japan. And I mentioned the cell edge, the small cell in Australia, that's also in the region here. But in addition, uh, I'd like to mention China. In China, recently, uh, the sa satellite, the HDS satellite ChinaSat-16 was launched. This is the first HDS satellite in China, which speaks a lot to the potential in China and the interest in satellite uh, broadband uh, connectivity in China. And they are a customer of ours and are using our equipment for their ground segment for fixed and uh, mobile applications. So that's another uh, milestone that has been achieved now in China and in, in this region. Of course, there's other countries and other uh, stories that I'm not exactly allowed to talk about, but there's a lot happening in this region and it's a very exciting time for satellite backhauling and satellite connectivity in general also in the IFC market and other enterprise and broadband markets. And of course, uh, Gilad is very pleased to be in the forefront of that. Dureen, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me again.